What's up, Brian Tong here, and we're back after an extended break with Googleicious for all the Google we can pack into a show each week, so let's get to it. It's a new year, and we're no strangers to rumors around Samsung. 2014 should be another big year for them, and KGI analysts are already throwing out the predictions for the Galaxy S5, which they expect to come in two configurations, one being a standard model and the other being their prime model with a fast 8-core processor, a 5.2-inch Quad HD AMOLED panel, and 3 gigs of RAM. Even recently, leaked screenshots of the S5's home screen by EvLeaks showcase a Google Now-ish looking card arrangement, but I've been told these were very, very early versions of the home screen that will include a connected animating background when you switch between home screens. Now, there's still no reports of any fingerprint scanner. 3D gesture support looks like it will be back, while new iris scanning technology has been rumored as a possibility for this phone. Now more Samsung rumors, and according to the Korea Times, an unnamed source tells them that Samsung may be attempting to beat Google Glass to a public launch with its own rumored Galaxy Glass. Samsung hints that its own smart glass product might be launched at the IFA show in Germany in September, while there's still no official release date for Google Glass. Now, this sounds frightening, and I would just offer some advice to Samsung that they won't listen to, because remember how you guys rushed to get the Galaxy Gear smartwatch out to beat other companies? Well, you might want to wait a little bit on this Galaxy Glass thing until you've really got something. And that's just my two cents, because I care. Aww. All right, according to Russian blogger Eldar Mordizan, he reports that Google will phase out the Nexus line of devices in favor of more Google Play Edition products. Google will still introduce two to three more Nexus branded products, but will discontinue the Nexus sub-brand in 2015. Now, it makes some sense with the number of Google Play Edition handsets available if the software updates can be pushed out quickly, which they have been, but it also seems a little odd that they would kill a brand they've spent five years working on that has name recognition with the Nexus line being a more affordable option as well. Again, it's a rumor, so I'll see you in 2015 and let you know how it all works out if CNET wants to keep me working here, which is really the best technology website in the world. And a red Nexus 5 just got leaked on Twitter this week, and that looks legit. All right, to the quick stories, ACC hands off the Android 4.4 update for US ACC1 models to their carriers for certification, so an update could be coming soon if all things go well, so keeping my fingers crossed. Also, the LG G Flex with its curved screen and self-healing back will launch in the US on T-Mobile February the 5th, AT&T is currently taking pre-orders and Sprint's opening up theirs January 31st. Also check this out, the Starwood Hotel Group has announced it's planning to allow you to check in with their smartphone and use it as your room key as well. Using their Starwood preferred guest app for Android and iOS, with just a twist, you'll be able to access your room. Now this program will be piloted at a few of their Aloft brand hotels before rolling it out company-wide. And a fun little video from the crew at Top Gear where the Stig decided to take on one of Google's Street View cars while he was driving a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG Black. Let's just check it out. I really thought the Street View car had a chance. Like, I really did. All right, that's going to do it for this week's show. You can always email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong, and I'll respond when I can. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brian Tong, and we'll see you guys next week for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious.